So to get started, we're going to use the DP32 chip kit board as an Arduino target. And to do that, we're going to need to get the firmware for the bootloader that allows us to do this. So you can download it from the Digilent website, and you also need to download MPLABX IDE. And you can do that for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux machines. You, can also, you also have to download the XC32 compiler. There is a free version, you have to look for it, but it is free and you should get that one, not the paid one. Finally, you need to have MPIDE, which is an Arduino compatible integrated development environment. All the Arduino code basically works on it and it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now, you'll have to load up MPLAB X and from there you'll create a project a microchip embedded project for pre-built hex and you will load up the hex file firmware that you downloaded earlier. You need to target the 250F128B and you have to select which debugger you want whether it's the chipkit uh, PGM or in this case the PICKit 3. Select the hex file that you downloaded earlier and go to next and just select the default project name, hit finish, and you will now see that you can download this using the download button. Make sure that your chipkit bootloader DP32 is set as the main project. And now we're going to be starting to download stuff onto this board. Okay, so you want to click on the project, you want to hit the download icon and it will effectively download code, the hex file, using your debugger onto the board itself. Once it's done you'll, say, you'll see that it says programming verify uh, complete. That means everything's good, ready to go. Now you're ready to switch out of MPLAB X and head over to MPIDE. So MPIDE looks a lot like the standard Arduino environment. Uh, you can use standard sketches from Arduino. And in our case, what we want to do is download the, or to use, I'm sorry, the uh, example sketch from the analog section called Analog In Out Serial. You want to modify it so that the analog in pin is A2 and the analog out pin is set not to 9, but instead to pin LED 1. And when you do that right, both A2 and that pin LED 1 turn blue. We have to set a new save file name. So we'll just call it version 3. We will compile it, or in this case verify it. And in the black part of the bottom of the screen, it should say everything's hunky-dory. And then when we're ready to go, we will have to hit the download button and you may have to do some configuring with respect to uh, the board type as well as um, the uh, USB uh, driver. Now hit download and if the right USB connection is set up then it should download onto the board itself and you should have if you spin the, the potentiometer right here, you should be able to get sensor data and the serial monitor to demonstrate this, that uh, the sensor data is changing as you spin this around, and there's an LED that should turn on and off as you do that as well. So just like this. So basically you turn this up and down, and the sensor data and the output numbers should change as well. And so basically what you have at this point is a working chip kit DP32 board acting like a standard Arduino.